the inner product of the factor with itself gives us the length of the factor squared. But what happens if we take the inner product with two different factors? Does that have a geometric interpretation too? And this video will learn that it does have. We can use the inner product between two different factors to compute the angle between those two factors. Moreover, the inner product gives us a really easy criterion to determine whether two factors are orthogonal or not. Let us see. Here we have two triangles, two the same triangles. Here the A, B and C, which are not both faces, are the length of the factors A, B and C both faces. So here we have three factors, A, B and C, and here just the length of the factors with the same angles, the theta. Now, for this triangle on the uh, left here, uh, we know the cosine rule. We can express the length of c squared in terms of a squared and b squared. c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times cosine theta. I hope you know this one from high school. And we can use this triangle rule to say something about the inner products between factors a and b. Let's see how we can do that. Well, we know B plus C equals the factor A. So we can find the factor C. C is the factor A minus B. Take the B to the other side. Then we want to rewrite this rule in terms of factors. So we need C squared, which is the length of the factor C squared. Well, we know C equals factor A minus factor B. So we can compute the length of C squared. It's the inner product of C with C, so the inner product of A min B with A min B. So that's what we're going to do here. L C squared, the C squared is the length of the vector C squared, here, equals A minus B inner product A minus B. Then we work out the brackets, A inner product A minus A inner product B minus B inner product A plus B inner product B. So that's the long expression over here. But then we can simplify a bit. A in our product A is the length of A squared. B in our product B is the length of B squared. And A and B is the same as B and A, so we get a minus 2 A and B. And then we are going to compare those formulas. Here we have a C squared in terms of A squared, B squared, and A in our product B. And here we also have a formula for that. So this C squared over here has to be this C squared over there. This C squared contains A squared, or we have A squared here too. Contains a B squared, which we have over here as well, and a minus 2 times A times B times cos theta, and an inner product here. Well, if this C squared is that C squared, then this term over here has to be this term over here, which means that we find A inner product B equals length of A, length of B cos and theta, the formula over here. So now we see that if we take the inner product between two different factors, we get length A, length B, cos and theta. So we can use the inner product between factors A and B to compute the angle between factors. For example, A and B over here. A1 minus 1, B0 minus 1. What happens if we take the inner product A and B? Well, uh, A and B equals 1. Sorry, 0 plus 1 equals 1. Length of A squared equals A and A equals 1 plus 1 equals 2. So length of A equals the square root of 2. Length of B is obviously 1. So when we plug in the numbers in the formula over here, we get the uh, cosine of theta equals the inner product uh, of 2, 1 times length of A, length of B times the square root of 2. So we can divide by the square root of 2, so we find cosine theta equals 1 over the square root of 2. And actually, you can simplify this a bit, because it's a nice angle, angle you know. Multiply by 1, square root of 2, over square root of 2, then this yields half. So now you recognize that you see cosine theta equals 1 half square root of 2, and that is an angle of 45 degrees, or theta equals pi over 4 radians. Now, what about this criterion for orthogonality? 
a special case. If the inner product between two vectors equals zero, that means that we have zero equals length of a, a length of b times cosine theta. Now, suppose we don't have a zero vector, that's silly. So that means that length of a and length of b are non-zero. That means that the inner product is zero, means that the cosine theta equals zero. But cosine theta equals zero, we can solve that problem. And we have either theta equals pi over two, like this, or theta equals minus pi over two, like that. So theta equals plus or minus pi over two. But in both cases, this one and that one, a is orthogonal to b. And we see if and only ifs here all the time. So a and a product b, zero, if and only if a is orthogonal to b. So that gives us a nice criterion to determine whether uh, a and b are orthogonal. This second f is not a spelling error, it means if and only if. So it means that a and b are orthogonal if the inner product is zero, and a, uh, if the inner product is zero, then a and b are orthogonal. It means that they are equivalent. So now we know uh, what happens when you compute the inner product between two different factors. You can use it to compute the angles between the factors.